today's rant, the race card. I'm so sick of it already. You think I'm sick of the word amazing? I would rather just hear that word all day long than hear anything else about race. It is horrible. It dominates every news story. If you started paying attention and making hash marks on how often the stories revolve around race, I don't know how you can't notice it. I mean, maybe it's not racial. Maybe the person's just a penis wrinkle. You know, did you ever think of that? Maybe the guy's just a dick. No, it has to be racial. It has to be. And the obsession is just... It's just gone so far. I mean, I, I haven't been as disgusted by anything since you had a bunch of sausages sitting in Congress trying to talk about my birth control. So you grow a uterus, baby, and then we'll have that discussion. Until then, until you pull, push a baby out of the, your tinkle hole, I'll thank you not to say a damn thing about it because you don't get it. I'm not going to take Cialis, and I'm not going to get a prostate exam, and you don't go to the OBGYN. How about you stay out of it? Anyway, but back to race. I've tried to write Bill O'Reilly, but I guess I cuss too much. He won't, he won't uh, acknowledge me at all, even though I have some really good ideas. I call the O'Reilly factor the O'Reilly factor. The spin stops here. No, it doesn't. It's the same ass spin everybody else does. It's easy. You say that you don't have the spin, yet everything goes toward a certain agenda, and nobody's stupid. I have a lot of respect for Bill O'Reilly, even though I heard he's speaking of penis wrinkles, big old jerk. But I like them. We're not always designed to be liked by everybody. If somebody is liked by everyone, that means they're a big phony. I'm sure as hell not liked by everybody. Let me tell you something. When I bust fiddle string, there are going to be two lines of people at the funeral home. One, all the people are, Charlotte's <laughs> dead. And then there's going to be another one of people sharpening their shanks. Let me make sure that bitch is dead. Yeah, and that's how I operate, and that's okay. I'm certainly not a monument to justice an arbiter to justice, and I'm not running for office, so I don't have a dog in this hunt. I can say what I want, and as far as the racist thing that Billy Riley had on the other day, he had some Hispanic man on there saying that they were getting, um, I don't know, targeted. Well, I mean, shit. If there were 11 million illegals of Martians or highlighters, you'd probably start paying attention to it and have a problem with it. And I don't know about you, but following the Constitution is never really that big a deal. It's just something you do. That's why I like Ron Paul. Ron Paul says, send all the illegals home and let them come back over, get their opportunity, but do it in the right way. Do it the legal way. I would like to think that if I'd come over to this country and gone through the proper channels and the naturalization and all of that, I'd probably be pretty pissed if somebody else just kind of slid in under the wire and wanted it to be okay. It's like someone getting an honorary degree and calling themselves doctor. Really? Really? So someone's going to spend four years in a dissertation, and all you have to do is get an honorary degree? Don't you think that'd piss you off? So same dance, different shoes, man. But nobody listens to me. I was thinking about running for president. If Stephen Colbert can do it, I can do it. I will never read off a teleprompter. I don't care who I piss off. I will speak the truth. I'm over 35, born in the country. Suppose I could do it. And the first thing I would do is tell everybody to stop sleeping in a little bitty sock filled with Neosporin and grow the ovaries to actually say what they think instead of being absolutely terrified that they're going to piss somebody off. Why? Who cares who you piss off? Think. It would be very easy for me to milk the fact that I'm blonde and I'm female and that would be a double minority. But you know what? I might be checking groceries or I might be president of the United States, but I'm still Charlotte fucking Rice, right? And you have to hold yourself to your own standards. And if you don't like it, I'll call you a wambulance or you can call yourself one. The thing that kills me is that the very people who say, oh, I don't see color, are the very ones who self-segregate. African-American, Hispanic-American, I got something for you, cheese dick. You're either an American or you're not. So stick that in your jock strap and snap it and have a great day.